The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. Is he controlling? Yes, he is. Will he put his hands on a female? Yes, he will. Would he put his hands on a male producer or anything? Yes, he will. The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills, believed to be connected to Sean Combs. Is he controlling? Yes, he is. Will he put his hands on a female? Yes, he will. Would he put his hands on a male product? Or anything, yes, he will in a jaw-dropping turn of events. It's been just over a month since federal authorities stormed Diddy's lavish properties in Los Angeles and Miami, sending shockwaves to the entertainment world. But wait, there's more now. The hip-hop icon is embroiled in a fierce legal battle, filing a motion to dismiss certain claims in a sexual assault lawsuit. I can't wait, I can't wait for everybody to find out what's really been going on in the background with Homeland Security officials raiding his homes in connection to a federal sex trafficking probe armed agents swarming his Beverly Hills mansion and the specter of a lifetime prison sentence. Looming large P's empire is on the brink of collapse. Brace yourselves as we delve deep into the scandalous saga of one of music's most influent figures. Will justice prevail or will Diddy's legacy be forever tarnished by the weight of these shocking allegations? Of course, there's layers upon layers. When you get into these conspiracy theories, man, they, they never end, they never end. There's just layers upon layers upon layers. But while the legal storm clouds gather, Diddy himself is not sitting still attempting to defend and justify himself amidst the maelstrom of accusations. His attorney, Aaron Dyer, minced no words in lambasting the authorities' tactics, branding the raids as a gross overuse of military-level force. In a statement to U.S. Weekly, Dyer vehemently declared there is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the way his children and employees were treated yet, despite Diddy's lawyer's staunch defense, the court of public opinion seems to be tilting against the music mogul. The media frenzy surrounding the raids has only served to deepen the intrigue with speculation riff about the true extent of Diddy's involvement in the unfolding scandal. The first of all is as there has been negative propaganda put out about me. That's not true as accusations swirl and federal officials conduct interviews with alleged victims, the gravity of the situation becomes increasingly apparent amidst the chaos one cannot help. But wonder K, did he wriggle free from the web of allegations spun around him, or is he destined to face the full force of the law with each passing day? The stakes grow higher, and the specter of a potential trial looms ever larger. Can Diddy's legal team mount a successful defense? Or will the weight of evidence prove too damning to ignore? I'm a fight for my reputation. I'm a fight for the honorable man. I am the rightest king. But I am. I'm not perfect. Now, let's delve deeper into what exactly Diddy is facing and just how dire the situation might be for him. Legal expert Narani has painted a grim picture suggesting that Diddy could be staring down the barrel of a life sentence if convicted in an exclusive interview with Us Weekly or an asserted I wouldn't be surprised if this is another Jeffrey Epstein or an R. Kelly type of sex trafficking case where we're talking about multiple victims across multiple jurisdictions over a significant period of time. The severity of the potential charges cannot be overstated. If the prosecutors manage to build a strong case against Diddy Rahey, warns there's no possible plea that is going to get him off with a slap on the wrist or probation. If the prosecutors are successful and able to prove it, he may end up dying in prison. These words cast a chilling shadow over Diddy's once glamorous empire. A lot of it depends on Diddy's situation, the individual facts of each case. Federal authorities are leaving no stone unturned in their pursuit of justice. The raids on Diddy's residences were not merely a show of force, but a calculated move in an ongoing investigation Romain sheds light on the gravity of the situation explaining federal agents were looking for evidence of criminal activity, primarily sex trafficking, but other crimes as well, including potential gun and firearm charges. But how did it all come to this? 
the catalyst for this maelstrom of legal trouble can be traced back to Diddy's turbulent past, particularly his relationship with his ex-girlfriend Cassie Venter allegations of sexual and physical abuse surfaced when Cassie filed a lawsuit against Diddy in November 2023. Oh, she claims she did try to leave several times, but Diddy would always send his team to find her track her down bring her back under the basis that her career would be ruined if she left while Diddy vehemently denied these claims and eventually settled lawsuit. It sparked a chain reaction Earth Money speculates that Cassie's lawsuit may have been the tipping point opening the floodgates for other victims to come forward. Cassie was with Diddy for a decade and she knew where the bodies were buried and she spilled it all out, Remini suggests, and that encouraged other victims to come forward with each new allegation. The walls around Diddy once untouchable facade crumble a little more as the investigation inches closer to its conclusion. The anticipation mounts, Room believes that Homeland Security is nearing the end of its probe, with the possibility of imminent arrests looming large I don't think it's a matter of if I think it's a matter of when Diddy will be arrested. She predicts the repercussions of such an arrest would be sick shaking the foundations of the music industry. And beyond it really did open the flight gates as you said, because it detailed almost two decades of hidden coercion. Should Diddy find himself behind bars the question of bail becomes paramount, it would be up to the federal judge to determine whether Diddy poses a flight risk or a danger to society factors that could influence a decision on bail, however given the gravity of the charges and the potential consequences the prospect of Diddy walking free seems increasingly remote as the scandal surrounding P. Diddy deepens it's becoming clear that this isn't just a onion show Diddy's web of connection spans far and wide in snaring other famous personalities and individuals and individuals in its intricate threads of deceit and alleged criminality with the specter of the racketeer influenced and corrupt organizations act rico looming large the implications for diddy and his accomplices are staggering of a few people coming out of the home those people have been detained now. We're trying to still connect the dots. We do have some sources on scene here that we're getting this information. The RICO Act, a formidable legal weapon wielded by federal prosecutors, allow allows for the prosecution of criminal organizations rather than just individuals. This means that if the EST is indeed building a RICO case against Diddy, it's not just him who's in the crosshairs but everyone connected to his alleged criminal enterprise, and with his reputation for tenacity and thoroughness, no stone will be left unturned in their pursuit of justice. Already the list of names implicated in Diddy's sordid affairs reads like a who's who of the entertainment industry, from close associates to fellow celebrities, no one seems immune to the fallout from this scandal. Take, for example, Young Miami, whose cousin is alleged to have been involved in a disturbing incident. With Rodney Lilrad Jones, one of Diddy's accusers, me, you want to know what I do when I act bad, I do what the I want, according to Jones, young Miami's cousin sexually assaulted him, while in the presence of Diddy and others, painting a troubling picture of the company that he keeps, but it's not just young Miami, who's been dragged into the fry Cuba, Gooding Jared, the Oscar-winning actor, stands accused of sexual harassment and assault by Jones who alleges that Diddy was grooming him for exploitation. But this guy who's suing him going after the money man I am sure and by the way I'd, I don't know P's life I don't know what he's going through with screenshots purportedly showing the moments surrounding the alleged incidents the evidence against Gooding Gerrard appears damning further complicating Diddy's legal quagmire. Why would they include you all of a sudden and some I think because of the darkness of the other grab 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 of the cases that I already had went through. And then there's Justin Combs, Diddy's own son, whose involvement in a shooting incident at Chalice Recording Studio has raised eyebrows. Jones claims that Diddy forced him to lie to authorities about the shooting, implicating Justin and others in a potentially criminal cover-up with tensions, running high in accusations. Flying the Kim's family finds itself embroiled in a legal nightmare with no easy way out. But perhaps most damning of all is the allegation 
involving Stevie J, the Grammy-winning producer and longtime collaborator of Diddy Jones, alleges that Diddy used Stevie J's influence to groom him for exploitation, preying on his vulnerability and insecurities. I don't know what my whatever someone does in their bedroom. That's what they do. I don't got nothing to do with that. I'm just here to say that I've never seen with screenshots and other evidence allegedly linking Stevie J to illicit activities. The veteran producer's reputation hangs in the balance, threatening to unravel his story career as the investigation deepens and the net tightens around Diddy and his associates. The full extent of their alleged criminal activities is slowly coming to light from sex trafficking to assault to racketeering the laundry list of charges is as extensive as it is disturbing. And with the assize track record of success in prosecuting RICO cases, the outlook for Diddy and his cohorts appears increasingly bleak. Um, so uh, this is just crazy. Just read, read, read. But 